I know exactly what you're thinking. You're asking yourself, how did I let the Royal Deadfire Company plant an informant in my crew? My superiors might expect me to report in from time to time, but don't read too much into it. You're not the only big thing happening around here. I'm in this for a lot of information, a little diplomacy, and plenty of target practice. This whole campaign is a risk-benefit analysis. The Navy knows you're a gamble, and they're factoring in all potential losses. Rawatai is here to do some good work, since the Huana can't seem to do it themselves. Maybe just try and stay out of our way. Uncomplicated. Just the way I like it. Oh, well, guess you ought to meet the bird. Ishii is smarter than he looks, but uh, don't expect him to do any tricks. Ishii, come. That's a good-looking bird. Hey, birdie. Hey, birdie. Takes practice before he'll listen to you properly, but that's a good start. Did your friend suffer a head wound? Before we get into deeper waters, I've got a question. You've got a ship and a title. Being captain means more than just wearing a big hat. A lot of tough calls to be made. Life at sea. It does have a way of simplifying things down to the bare elements. A crew can be like family. They can also be like a nest of squalling infants. Let's say your galley cook was fixing to organize the rest of the crew into a mutiny. How would you handle it? Sure. Always a chance it fails. Of course, the only right answer is the one that works in a given time and place. I just wanted to hear yours. Mostly preemptive measures. We try to pull the weeds before they reach the garden. But enough about me. Glad to be aboard, Captain. I've got some answers. Sure am. And I heard that you two spent some time together. Funny how the gods toss things together. I heard tell that Kana sailed off in search of whatever he didn't find in the Deerwood. They say he lit a fire under the Ranganui to speed up the taming of the dead fire. You clearly had some sway on his opinions, more than I ever did. Wish you had told Kana to give up on the poetry. He's got no ear for it. If you want to hear a voice like a powder keg belting out Rawatayan anthems while you're running at a dragon, be my guest. Some of us find it distracting. I do with bullets what Kana did with words. Just in case you were wondering, the comparison ends there. Well... My parents came from the Deadfire. I'm getting a taste of my roots. After they emigrated to Rawatai, their talents caught the Ranganui's eye. He saw them as this spectacle, this achievement of the old country, I guess. So they were honored guests. Not many Huana rose to distinction in Takoa. We were also curiosities. Even as we broke the same bread and tossed back the same wine, the Ranganui's friends always checked under the table to see if I had a tail. Kana thought it was hilarious. You're telling me. Growing up in the Ranganui's shadow wasn't all bad. We had tutors and advisors at our disposal and lots of folk from stranger parts than these. I spent my days learning to shoot while my more academic siblings learned to express themselves. I leave you to judge who spent their time better. I won a shooting competition at the Ranganui's estate. This was a few years before enlisting with the Navy. 
As a reward, he gave me the freedom of the Royal Airy and said I could take my pick of the Warbirds. Stinkfeathers here kicked a rather pretty hawk off my arm so he could have me all to himself. Been inseparable ever since. Ishii, where are your manners? Think the nice captain. Oh, um, you wanted something, Captain? What, me? I'll go ahead and say it. You're halfway toward all right. Oh, I know. But it's kind of you to say. Have you ever... <sighs> Dumb question, but here I go anyway. You ever gotten close to someone... Even though it just wasn't... ordinary? <laughs> yeah, that about kicks the legs out from under ordinary, doesn't it? What I'm talking about is a scenario where a difference in rank can get in the way of... enjoying shore leave? Well, that's why we have these little chats. I'm just testing the direction of the wind here. Best not to overthink it. As winds do. I've enjoyed that sort of arrangement before. Nothing to suggest I won't enjoy it again someday. Naturally. It's all hypothetical here. Well, I've laid out my thoughts. You must have a couple. Say no more. I'll give you some room to breathe. Come on, Ishii.